Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video to compare the Razer Basilisk Ultimate with the Corsair Dark Core RGB Pro. Both of these are premium gaming mice that are available to play in wireless and wired mode, multi-button mice with high DPI levels and numerous different features that make them interesting. There are some that will make them stand apart and some that make them quite similar and worth considering in my mind, not least of which is a very nice design, ergonomic styling and contoured and comfortable grips and a really nice rich feature set. The Basilisk Ultimate, for example, sports 20,000 max DPI, 11 programmable buttons, 14 customizable lighting zones, and on the fly DPI switching with up to five different profiles, which is pretty neat. The Corsair Dark Core RGB Pro has eight programmable buttons, up to 18,000 max DPI, 2,000 hertz polling rate, which is higher than most gaming mice, almost double in fact, and up to 50 hours battery life. And it also has both Bluetooth and Slipstream wireless technology, which I'll talk to you in a bit more depth about in a minute. The Razer Basilisk Ultimate has a right and left click mouse wheel, which unfortunately the Dark Core RGB Pro does not. However, both mice have profile switching on the fly, as well as up and down DPI buttons and a mass of customizable buttons. You'll note both mice have a left thumb rest as well as easy access buttons on the side. The Basilisk Ultimate comes with this neat little charging dock, which I really like, that has pass through on it that allows you to dock all the wireless dongle inside of it, but it also means that you can drop the mouse on top of it when you're not using it to charge it up, which is really nice. You'll see the little metal prongs here that connect underneath the mouse and allow you to easily charge it, which is a real bonus. Unfortunately, the Corsair Dark Core RGB Pro does not have this. However, it, the special edition version of that mouse does have Qi charging capabilities, which means you can use it on a Qi charging mat or on something like the Corsair MM1000 mouse mat. The Razer Basilisk Ultimate otherwise uses a micro USB connection. You can either plug it straight into the mouse or into the charging base. It's worth noting that charging base also has RGB. The Corsair Dark Core RGB Pro, meanwhile, has a USB-C cable for its power when you need charging. And so you don't have to worry about superposition and you can just plug it in and enjoy that glorious charging. Both obviously have braided cables, so you don't get any friction on your desk, but it's nice to see the dark core going for the USB-C rather than micro USB, like the Basilisk Ultimate, which is kind of dated now and questionable as to why they've done it on an otherwise fantastic mouse. You see underneath the USB-C connection, really easy to slip on. Now, the Basilisk Ultimate on the underside has a number of interesting highlights to it. You can see the 20,000 DPI indicator as well as the charging prongs. You'll also notice a little resistance wheel that I'll talk to you in a bit more depth about a bit later on. Under here is also the housing for the 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle. And you can easily store that dongle away when not in use. Now, I did note that you can plug this in to the charging base as well. Uh, so you don't need to plug it into your PC, which means you don't need to use two slots on the PC. And that is definitely a bonus for me. Now the Corsair Dark Core RGB Pro meanwhile has a little storage spot on its mouse too underneath the right hand side cover. That cover can be removed and you can also replace it with a nice little grip so you can change up this mouse to have a little grip on either side so you can rest so rest for your thumb and a rest for your pinky as well making it the more comfortable of the two in my opinion they're roughly the same size and so you get a lot more rest on the dark core than you do on the basilisk ultimate here you can see it without its rest but you see the contoured textures design this is a palm grip mouse designed for fps and moba games and it has a really nice feature to set to it. You can see on the left hand side the original dark core with that grip so you can get an idea of what the two look like. 
Now, as I was saying, the Basilisk Ultimate has this resistance wheel underneath, and that's another highlight that makes it stand out alongside the profile switching button on the underside and the charging dock pins. A number of interesting highlights, but the resistance wheel is where it's at. Now, this allows you to basically infinitely customize the resistance of the scroll wheel. So on the underside, you'll see this tiny little wheel. Now, if you push that in one direction, it makes the mouse wheel smooth and you push it in the other one and you get a lot more feedback from it, both in terms of tactile response and the sound it makes as you roll it. That is something lacking on the Dark Core, which is basically has a standard mouse wheel. So if you're looking for something where you can customize the mouse scroll, then the Basilisk Ultimate is probably the choice for you. That's kind of similar to Logitech light speed mice where you can adjust those to spin infinitely and really quickly but it's really a nice addition to the basilisk ultimate that i've not seen in other mice and it's quite enjoyable to use the basilisk ultimate is certainly a very feature rich mouse with some really nice highlights to it however the dark core should not be dismissed because this too is very nice you'll note a very slightly textured and contoured mouse wheel here it's probably a little quieter than Basilisk Ultimate and unfortunately doesn't have left and right click. You do have the easy access profile switching button next to it though and the DPI up and down buttons on the left hand side. You know, large thumb buttons, easy access as well. Those as standard are forward and backward within Windows but can be customized and you can customize all eight of the programmable buttons within the IQ software and if you want to see that in action check out the unboxing and review video that I did and I'll go into more depth on that but it does mean that you can customize these with macros, button clicks, key presses and all sorts of other things as well as actions, launching programs and things like that. The Basilisk Ultimate, as I said, has 11 programmable buttons, so if you're looking for more programmable buttons then this one is it. And that's because of that sideways clickable mouse, which means you have a variety of different buttons. You also have this little paddle, which is a hyper shift paddle that allows you to switch the DPI on the fly. And it's a sensitivity clutch, essentially, and it's a really nice design, very comfortable to use and very satisfying. And you don't have to have it installed, as you see, you can remove it, so it's pretty easy to put on and take off again. And you also have easy access thumb buttons there and a very satisfying click setup. This is a really nice mouse for the money and very feature rich and very satisfying and accurate to use. They're both very good mice and which one you choose is obviously going to depend on what you want from it. Whether you want that sideways click for example or the infinite scroll customization. One thing I really do like about the Dark Core that I will note though is that it comes with Slipstream wireless technology and Bluetooth connectivity. That's something that the Basilisk Ultimate does not have so that means you can connect via the dongle to your PC but you can also use it to connect to via to Bluetooth devices say for example a laptop. They both have ridiculous battery life levels. The Basilisk Ultimate tops out at 100 hours. The Dark Core RGB Pro has 50 hours of battery life. So they both can last and last and last, although the Basilisk Ultimate has more. But then you have the Qi charging on the Dark Core. And obviously you can dock the Basilisk Ultimate, so they're slightly different. The Dark Core has eight RGB lighting zones on it, where the Basilisk Ultimate has 14. Both of them sport this RGB strip down the side that is sectioned off and can be customized within the software. They also have lighting on the mouse wheels and logos and so you can customize quite a number of different things on them. You'll note the Dark Core has lighting on a strip around the thumb buttons and also a little accents on the bottom left and bottom right as well as the logo and so you can tweak all of those individually and separately with all the different standard customization options whether that's static colors or reactive ones or lighting link ones with other Corsair peripherals and you can set those up individually within the IQ software really easily. And it's the same for the Basilisk Ultimate. If you're looking for RGB, the Basilisk Ultimate obviously has a lot more because it has 
14. That long strip on the Basilisk Ultimate along the side is sectioned off and customizable in there. So you can get some really nice RGB effects with this mouse. And perhaps this is the better of the two. Also, the charging base is RGB friendly with a strip around the bottom of it. And you can customize that within the software too. And you can get them to match up or light up individually and separately so you can really set that up the way you want it so it quite stands out quite a bit so on paper both these mice are very nice the basilisk ultimate might be a bit more feature rich but it's also more expensive and the dark core is fantastic in my book this has been the provoke prawn hope you found this video useful interesting or hilarious be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos as well as taking a look in the description for links and information you might find useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see extra about this. And have a great life.